car, I'll be honest with you, mate. Um, it's good that we've got um, a record that you're actually doing something. It's a good job they've got a record of you doing something. He's also got you on channel, mate. He's got a radio in his hand. He's got the exact same channel. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here in Misham, taking a look at Mercia Park. We have visited this place whilst it was still being built, but it looks like it's very well occupied now. DSV to my right, Unipart, Jaguar Land Rover, I think that says up there. But this is the main Goods Inwards backyard entrance and they all share this security checkpoint and all the backyards are accessed via this one road but there's loads of public footpaths cycle routes all around the place dsv i think everything's automated over there so there's a lot to see here that one there that unit is unoccupied the gardeners are just getting that ready you can hear some bleeping oh yep the gates opening over there dsv vehicle coming out uh, we do have a broken barrier don't like to see the broken barriers do we but that's on the exit what's it like on the entrance let's have a look so also broken on the entrance not good is it here we have Gregory and Davis of King's Langley. Just about to present himself to security. Let's see how this goes then. write something down in the hopes that the vehicle just doesn't drive forward because if it did it could there is literally nothing stopping it at all and is this on-site security GMS I think it might be Is he look happy or not? For YouTube. Stay calm, my friend. It's only a camera. Why are you filming? Put the camera down. I'm making a YouTube video. I don't care what you're doing. You're not doing videos of me, mate. I am. Well. I'll go and see security and they'll have you removed. Okay. Put the camera down. No. Make a YouTube video. It's against day, day, bloody data protection. You can't film me. Why not? Because I'm telling you, you can't. And also, why are you, phone, why are you filming this area? Make a YouTube video about Mercia Park. For who? For me. Well, I'll report it. Yeah, no problem, mate. Gonna report it. Ordering me to put the camera down on a pedestrian crossing here at Mercia Park.
I don't know why they get so triggered. Did security tell him there's nothing he can do? Just carry on. Oh, wrong way. Will he remain calm or will he lose his temper? I'm not sure whether this guy's actually got in control of his. I suggest Let's you put see. that down and disappear, mate, because I'll call the police. Yeah, go for it, mate. There's nothing wrong. Sorry? There's I'm doing nothing wrong. Of course wrong. there is. The security of the place, my data protection, you can't just film me. You saved the security of the place. Have you noticed that? There's a barrier missing. I've just reported him. No, the barrier. I've just reported what you're doing to him. That's of no concern to me. The concern is that you're filming. No, you mentioned security of the place. But there's no barrier to stop the vehicles from just driving well, in. If you carry on filming the, me, I'll call the police. There's also no barrier on the exit, so the vehicles can just go in, grab whatever goods they want and come out. There's no barriers to stop them. Look, they're both broke. I'm not security, but if oh, I you see right. somebody you, like you, yeah. I'll report it. That's my job. Yeah, I know, and that, that's great. So I'm going to report that the barriers are missing on the video. To who? To the audience. We've got an audience watching these videos, you know. I don't believe you. They're very concerned. No odd feelings, my friend. What's this uh, shunter like anyway? Is it any good? It's your business. I like these ones. Oh, it's on hire, is it? At least it's got a number plate there. Some of them don't have a number plate on, do they? It seems pretty, uh, pretty modern. They're looking after you well, are they? Oh, it's on the radio. Let's see if we can uh, pick him up. Films is against stage protection plus the security of this, this place. I'll be honest with you, mate. Um, it's good that we've got uh, a record that you're actually doing something. It's a good job they've got a record of you doing something. He's also got you on channel, mate. He's got radio in his hand. He's got the exact same channel. Can you do me a favour and get on to business security? It's not, a, it's not something I can deal with. Thanks, mate. At least you tried, mate, didn't you? Uh, guys. Is it protection or is it just... Uh, I've got no idea, it won't give me any answers. I have! Pop up and have a look. I told you! Well, they have to know the video for anything, it's for me and the audience and for YouTube. Yeah, for YouTube, that's it. Yep. Go, mate, you see it all over YouTube all the time. Just back off and, and get on with your job. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, mate! No odd feelings though, okay? Clickbait, mate. Clickbait. 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 <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. But it's just being alert, you know, it's spotted something suspicious, so it's reported it. So no hard feelings to that gentleman, but... I wasn't sure whether he was actually going to go hands-on with the camera, but he did have a little bit of self-control after all, didn't he? But yes. 446 PMR frequency. So, any. Right, just send this protection an email as well, so um, they'll, know, they'll know about it. That's all it. They're sending business protection an email. Stephen, don't say too much on the radio, mate. He's on the same channel. And careless talk costs lives, mate. But we've got security approaching now, look.
he knows the score. Just carry on with your job and let us film the amazing things that you're doing. But I can also see a little uh, golf cart type of buggy on its way up here. Down there a lot. So we'll just wait for this. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I do like that. We'll just make sure that he is not going to get involved. And then we'll carry on. And that vehicle doesn't fancy being on the TV. He's off. Yeah, looks innocent enough. There's nothing anyone can do. He's not on the, in, in the boundary, so leave it be. Yeah, there you go. I presume that was the person in the little buggy there. He looks innocent enough. He's off the boundary. Leave him alone. Perfect! That is a brilliant result. So there's only one thing left to do for this little video. It's hide a key ring. So just down there, under that stone, the second stone in is the DJ Audit's key ring. I'll show you where I am, I'll do it in reverse. It's right just here, look. The substation on the left, you've got three of them here at Mercier Park. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. So here we are now down round the other side of Mercier Park, JLR, Jaguar Land Rover, what do you reckon? I think so. This gentleman here is just wondering where to put his bike. Not very comfortable of just leaving it with a man with a camera. Quite understandable. They're still on the same frequency, the 446 PMR frequency. We have more of these little vehicles. Is that some sort of... <laughs> We're keeping the yard nice and tidy, look. Got a litter picker. And this member of staff says, no way, I'm not leaving my bike outside today. I'm taking it in. So, the time has come to get David up. And let's see what this place looks like from above. As always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in the area at all. Uniparch JLR, brand new. Mercia Park, Misham. Let's have a look at you then, shall we? Take off. Home point updated. So we can see the excellent security staff turnstiles. And we can see a man dressed in blue there. Blue must mean you have some sort of importance, surely. Uh, these are those little golf maintenance carts down here that we saw earlier. Very nice, very handy. And that must be the staff entrance. So it's clearly reported the drone to security there. So let's see how professional the security are. The drone has also been spotted by these two. But what a lovely day, eh? What a lovely day. They seem to be driving around a lot. There's the building. And here are all of the containers to bring goods in from overseas in the automotive industry. Unipart, Jaguar Land Rover. You can imagine it, can't you? All those spare car parts or even the parts that are required to manufacture the vehicles. Come here first. Be my guess. 
Do we have any solar panels? Oh, there should be some, at least a small number. I can't see any, but I can see I can see a few people down here at the main reception door. Yeah, there they are. Look. It's not hard, guys. There's one man outside over here and a drone. If you want to find out any information, just go and talk to him. But remain professional, and polite, and respectful, and everybody will have a great experience. <laughs> You will be reassured and I will be left alone. So a huge car park with loads of empty space at the end. And I did see more of these. So that's where we started, down there at the gatehouse. The unit below is Uniparch, JLR, and so is that one behind. A massive presence here. And the road that is secured by the gatehouse leads into the yard of both buildings. It also leads into the yard of DSV down at the bottom. Blocked off at the end. Only one way in and one way one way out. I think I will turn this walkie-talkie off now. We don't, we no longer need to be listening in, do we? So what's around the local area? You've got a busy road just there. A van place. <laughs> Lots of fields. And then all these massive brand new warehouses distribution centers here at mercia park so we'll switch over to the 360 degree camera get a photo for google maps and move on yeah making a youtube video this building this building. Okay. What is it about? It's a, me, huh? about this building. What's wrong with the building? Uh, just what happens here. Just want to get some behind the scenes footage for YouTube. Well, it is a private site. Yeah. And obviously I know public road and all of that. So right. No, no harm in here, in here flying the drones and stuff, but obviously just just a normal warehouse? Just it's not. Warehouse. It's not just a normal warehouse. So what is it then? It's a partnership with Unipart. Yeah. And you import the the automotive parts. You don't import anything here. Yeah? What do you think those shipping containers are for? None of these are imports. They're all export. They go away, they don't say it. They don't import anything here. Yeah? So they're exporting from here? Yeah. Right. And where are the products made? In Birmingham? In the Jaguar sites. Jaguar Land Rover. So what's Uniparts involvement then? Well, they supply the manpower. Just the manpower? Yeah. Right. Because Unipart, you normally think they're supplying the end user for the, the cars, you know? Mm -hmm. So the owners of the Jaguar Land Rover vehicles mm -hmm. would go to a Unipart store to get the parts, wouldn't they? I, I, that's not in my department, so I, I wouldn't know. But be, before you worked here, did you know of the Unipart name? Yeah. So what did you think they did? I don't know. They never really interested me. I thought they sold parts for cars. Well, they're, part, they're in partnership with Jaguar, so they all sell, they sell, they sell the parts that Jaguar make. So exporting to other countries mm. and then being used to make vehicles or for the end user to 
buy parts for their own vehicle? I think part of, I think part of it is the same, yeah. Same what? No, as in what you said there, to, for people to buy parts for the vehicles and sell for, to companies. No, no so problem. both then? Yeah. So I'll basically going to the dealers, going to the Jaguar Land Rover dealers mm. in other countries? More or less, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, I've learned something there. I think it's great how you've got security, um, one security gatehouse serving free yards. No, that, that security has nothing to do with us. Well, they're letting your vehicles in. In yeah, and out. but they're just controlling access, that's it. Yeah. But it's a different total company. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. A great little setup. You don't often see this with one service road going mm. in at the back. Normally, it's the, the building itself controls the traffic, you know? Mm. But they're controlling the traffic for you. Yeah. Although the barriers are broken, aren't they? That's what I'm saying. They, it's a, they're a totally different company to we work for Jaguar, so they, they just control access and egress, that's about yeah. it. Are you security on this building? No. Are you business protection? Yeah. Business protection? Is that like loss prevention? No. That's Bi to deal with fire, medicals, everything else. Security, but not, we're not physically as in security, security, but with business part of Jaguar is more or less everything to do with the fire safety and everything else, prevention and all that stuff. Right. I notice you, where they're smoking, you've got some red fire fire bell things on the wall. Yeah. Are they the, the ones that you turn by hand? No, no, no. Are they like, what are they? They're just bell, fire bells. So Do you need that it. many? Huh? You need that many? Yeah, it is a big warehouse. Oh, does it tell people that are here yeah, yeah, yeah. which location the fire is in? So zone one, two, three, four, because you've got about six there, haven't you? You've got loads. It's a, it's a massive warehouse. Is it automated inside, like conveyor belts? No, no, no. It's all manual? It's, all, it's just a warehouse, that's what I'm saying, it's just a warehouse. They don't make anything here. Yeah. Just move stuff around? Yeah. And put just it on like the... normal warehouse. A forklift's going on the containers then? Yeah. Have they ever tipped, tipped forward? What do you mean? Do you know, like, if the, the front of the trailer is heavy with a forklift... Oh, if it... no. It could so tip all, the wrong way. Stagnant. So it, it, it's in level with everything else. What do you mean in level? No, so nothing gets loaded in front here, it's all in the back. So it's at a level height for the loading dock. So when the forklift loads into, you know, like your normal trailer, it's parked up, you're loading it, it's all one level, so nothing gets tips. Yeah, I know that, the trailer's level, yeah. but when the forklift enters the trailer, yeah. and it goes to the front of the trailer, then you've got a lot of weight on the front of the trailer, haven't you? Mm. So sometimes they tip like that. No, they don't tip. Because the way how they, make the, the, way how they created it, the, the level of the flooring, it's just there. So it loads and then the truck just drive off. Right, it? okay. Some places are using the trailer stands. Uh, they put it underneath so the, the trailer yeah, can't yeah. tip. But I didn't see any of them in here. No, it's not on this side, it's on the other side. Yeah, I went round there with the drone. I had a good look round. That's what I mean by behind the scenes because members of the public can't get yeah, round there. Yeah. So know, we have to have to use the drone, don't we? To get into the areas. But it's a lovely day. You've got a lovely location. You're very lucky to work here. Some of the other sites, Jaguar Land Rover, are not so nice in Birmingham. Mm. You've got a brand new building here. Yeah, it's all right. Canteen, brings, very nice. Yeah, brings work for the local community as well, isn't it? So. Yeah. Is it hot food being served in the canteen? Always. Sometimes you just get vending machines. Well, they have vending machines for snacks. Who wants sandwiches and crisps yeah. and all that stuff? But yeah. it's all right. Serve the purpose. So my YouTube video showing people this building. Mm. You've got two, haven't you? This and the other one behind. And the rest is like DSV. What's yeah. that one to the left there? Do you know? It's the same for you. So you've got three then? Mm -hmm. Or have you got four? Three. And then... Um, the one that's just been... That has, not, that has nothing to do with us. That has it got an occupant yet? The very first one? Right. Right. That's a different company, so we, I, can't, I can't talk about them because I don't really know anything about it. Right. So Unipart have the most employees in this building. Mm -hmm. Jaguar Land Rover just have business protection. Yeah. But Jaguar, more or less, is the, they, they own the building. They're just in... in partnership with Unipart for, for other things. Oh, man. For the logistics. Yeah, I'm yeah. done anyway, my friend. Right. Thanks Have for the chat. Day. Nice to meet you. All right.
I think we had some viewers there just leaving, although they didn't stop for a key ring. So yes, he wondered what we was doing. I thought to myself that he knew the score, but it turns out that he just wasn't bothered. In the end, he came over to find out and he was brilliant. So there's one thing left to do. Let's hide a key ring. Now on this very first post here, to the left of the car park entrance, some bark. And I'm going to put the key ring just under the bark there. Nice and easy to find, just there. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. That was Jaguar Land Rover Uni Park here, Mercia Park in Misham. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.